Sensei and want to share my experience using this system so that you can decide if it's right for you. In this video, I'll break down what exactly it is and what it does, the pros, the cons, and everything I wish I knew before I purchased. Did it live up to my expectations? In this video, you'll find out. First of all, Sense.ai or Sensei is a brain training headset that combines the modalities of five different wearables into this one headset right here. And each of the five different functions it does, it does so best in class. The Sensei system was created by Paula Telfer and Corey Julin. Apologies if I got that name wrong, but this duo came up with the technology and hired an incredible team of neuroscientists and technologists to fit all this tech into this one device. The core technology is a form of brain training called neurofeedback, which is too much to thoroughly describe in this one video. There are plenty of others that detail it, but essentially it works like a mirror for your brain, helping your brain shift into whatever state you desire pretty much on command. Just like you build your body in the gym, the mental equivalent of a bicep curl is neurofeedback. Their headset contains proprietary sensors right here and here and here. Three proprietary sensors can detect a thorough range of brain waves up to 120 hertz. That includes beta, alpha, theta, and gamma. The accuracy and the fidelity of the signal of the brain sensors allow the system to personalize each of your sessions without requiring an expensive and time-consuming QEEG brain map. In addition, to the neurofeedback, you also have HRV biofeedback. If you've heard of heart rate variability training, that is this, but showing your data in real time, allowing you to adapt and find your body's unique resonant frequency breath rate. The cadence of the inhale and exhale that most effectively rebalances your physiology, and that's unique to every person. So basically, with this system, you turn it on, you go into the app, and you have three options. You can either train and you can train with neurofeedback or with the HRV biofeedback. You can take a quantitative assessment to actually understand your brain function and the outcomes that matter, such as accuracy or processing speed, or you can do what they call boost. Boost is a form of neurostimulation that uses transcranial photobiomodulation, basically just light applied to the outside of the head. You probably can't see the LEDs, but there are seven LEDs lining the helmet and just like the other modes this personalizes the session to best put your brain into the ideal state for whatever goal or outcome you're seeking on the brain quantification side you have this right here this they call the genius pulse and it plugs in to the bottom of the headset and you play a little game and it logs your brainwave activity and calculates different scores based on what are called ERPs. The same technology they use clinically to measure how brain performance changes. So once you load up the app, you can either follow missions or do whatever kind of training you want outside of missions. I really like the missions because they gamify your progress and make the whole sensei experience a lot more addictive than just doing one-off sessions. Although I would like to see them implement a social leaderboard of sorts to really take the gamification up to the next level. The way the missions work is that they are eight to 12 week programs focused on helping you achieve very particular outcomes. When I counted last, they have seven programs for beginners and 10 that are more advanced. One of the big things that made me choose Sensei over some of the competition is the sequencing they use for your training. By simply following the programs they line up for you without even knowing it, you're first establishing a nice foundation for your nervous system, your brain, and your heart. This sets you up for longer term success. Then then when you later go on to the more peak states, such as gamma, you don't crash and burn. Now I'll walk you through what the whole process start to finish of training looks like. So the first thing you do is you wet the sensors. Unfortunately, all neurofeedback devices, really any medical devices that are capturing electrical impulses from the body require water to conduct the signal. Most other neurofeedback systems require gel too, and putting gel in your hair can be 
a hassle and discourage frequent training. This just requires some basic water. Once you do that, you open the app, you choose your desired program type, then you adjust a few sliders to log your level of calmness, of focus, of energy, and of happiness. At the end of your session, they'll ask you to re-rate how you're feeling with the same sliders to see what the session did to you. You can add a primer to your session, which is a way of chaining on multiple modalities into one. So I could do a heart coherence biofeedback and then chain that on to a neurofeedback session. Or I could add a boost before my session to prime myself for a better session and to get more out of my time. Sessions are either eyes open and they give you visual feedback or they're eyes closed and you work exclusively with the audio feedback cues. The better you do, the louder, more rich the audio or the more sparkles and visual rewards you get on screen. You'll hear one final I'll chime at the end indicating the session is over before your check-in and your session scores. So that's the whole system in a nutshell. I've been using it one to three times per day for a couple months now and so far I've been pretty impressed. It certainly checks the boxes and I've been talking to their team about some small things they can do to improve. Most notably my feedback is largely on the software side meaning they can make some updates to their app and ship that without us having to get a new system or update the device firmware or anything that's more complex. This is an early unit of the system and I did come across some bugs and glitches in the app. That's to be expected. It's all very new and I'd imagine over the coming weeks and months they will iron out a lot of these. My main gripe with this system is also a positive and that is the sensors are very intricate and finicky. You have to sit very still for it to get a sensor lock and getting a sensor lock depending on how much water you use to wet the sensors and how much hair you have and the level of electro smog in your environment can all interfere with the signal lock process. One little pro tip here is to use a lot of water to wet the sensors. They say like three to five drops. I find that around eight drops to 10 drops makes acquiring the signal at least three times faster. Usually it only takes me about 20 seconds to acquire a signal, but I've had cases where it's taken me five, 10 minutes to get a signal. And oftentimes just adding some more water to that almost instantly fix the problem. Another issue I've had with it is that for some reason, when the headset has 27% battery, it says that it's too low to start a 15 minute neurofeedback session. Again, that sounds like something they can fix with an app update, but it's been a minor inconvenience so far. Although overall the unit charges pretty quickly and the battery lasts at least 10 sessions, probably more. And currently the customer support is also overwhelmed and inundated with tickets because this is a brand new device and people are trying to make sure they're using it correctly and it can take a few days longer than I'd expect for support to get back to you. Well first of all the fact that it has five different devices in one is huge. I have a bunch of neurostimulation devices, I've used other neurofeedback systems and quantification systems and HRV coherence systems and not only do they get very expensive and all have memberships, but it's a pain to lug around all this stuff. To interpret it all requires third-party software to bring it together and analyze if it's even supported. On that same line, they personalize the entire Sensei experience from the missions that you're initially greeted with to the frequency of your light boost to the resonant frequency of your breath rate during HRV coherence. The whole system is personalized to your biology at the time of your session. Speaking of that, the quantification abilities of this system are next level. You get back a bunch of different metrics after each and every session, whether it's heart coherence or it's neurofeedback. And even with the genius pulse assessments, you get to see how exactly you're doing and you can view historical trends. Although one of my gripes here is that they currently are requiring a membership to access the data. As far as I understand it, you'll still be able to use the system, but not view your data without a membership. And with any new system, the first year of membership is free. The whole thing is also very portable and easy to use and to travel with. I've been bringing this with me in my carry-on on flights 
and it comes in a nice protected package so that you don't have to worry about damaging any of the expensive sensors or gear. A lot of the neurotech that I've played around with can be quite complicated and take a lot of practice and YouTubing to understand. This one's different. The descriptions were really built for the end user who doesn't have much experience with brain training. And I've heard from other users that the guided sessions are comparable to what you would get in real professional neurofeedback facilities. So what are my overall thoughts on the Sensei neurofeedback and brain training headset? So far, I'm impressed. It seems to be working and with the calm heart, the heart coherence mode, I feel a marked difference between the start of the session and the end. In just seven minutes of conscious breathing at my resonant rate, I certainly feel my nervous system balance. With the calm mode or training mostly alpha brain waves, I leave a 15 minute session of that feeling centered and ready to conquer any stressful challenges throughout my day. Then the more intense gamma modes, such as intense focus, they feel noticeably stimulating. I'd compare it to like a half cup of coffee and for me the effects last about four hours. Although with gamma, I'm able to better channel that energy into my work. Whereas caffeine just makes me more jittery and wanting to go about my day and work out and do stuff like that. The boost feels a little bit weaker to me than the training modes. I've only played around with one of the boost modes and I will be using that more. But what I like is I can put it on and I can do my work while the boost is going in the back. Background. Perhaps most importantly, the data I'm getting back from Sensei seems to be much more accurate than the other systems and devices I've tried. There are a lot of neurofeedback helmets and headsets and systems that are cheaper. They just don't provide the same signal quality, the signal fidelity that Sensei does. And with neurofeedback, signal quality really matters. So if this kind of thing sounds interesting to you, you can use the code URBAN to save, I believe, 5% on your order. I did become a partner of theirs, so if you you use that code I get a small commission it doesn't cost you anything and I take those commissions and use them to create videos and reviews like this for you have you used Sensei or did you pre-order it? Go ahead and drop a comment below or check out my frequently updated written version of this review discussing protocols, stacks, and my experience as I continue using this system and discover more ways to get more out of my mind. If you've enjoyed this so far, hit the thumbs up. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Be an outlier.